We're coming to you live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Croxham Skull, Florida. It's over 110 degrees outside. Man, is it hot. The only difference between this place and an oven is that ovens don't produce serial killers. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Cincinnati Mangles take on the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, five, foul, five. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten oh and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there oh, Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Huh? 
Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and 10. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot, hot one. Hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. And that'll be second down and four. With kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. <laughs> Second down and six. And the defense jumps outside. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he picks up four on that passing catch. Second down and six.
Third down and, well, good luck. One. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die! First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. didn't give an inch no gain on that play second down and ten and like every one of my barbecues this guy's on fire does he like original or extra crispy now it looks like extra crispy oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him Do and it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and two. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery and just like that the first ref is done i think i won the pull on that i had him in my first box well someone's gotta be first it's good to be first at something at least once in life even if it's dying don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense nice punt should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and long. And then catch 
will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped him. Two minutes left in the half. First down and three. He picks up a two. And that'll bring up second and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Third and two. timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot and they'll line up for the punt here and he got it off that's a decent punt the return man catches the ball and heads up field Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor <laughs> And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. No, oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open. Who's sitting on the open? The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll bring up third and one. I think the 
defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Bricks started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Second down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First down and six. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into him, and the crowd goes wild. Werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Pig's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot. That 
that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Ah, and the defense jumps outside and attacks the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First and four. The defender says, I don't think so. And that'll be second down and four. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and six. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. With kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to it. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And 
line. That'll be second down and four. And then's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. something going here and it's first and ten that's the end of three and it's anyone's game hang on tight the fourth quarter is about to begin and it's first and ten Scrambler. Second down, the size of Brick Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Second down and seven. Hot one. Eight. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Eight. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. That's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. 
Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of this whole sport. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder to have a common ref. Take the head. Do something about that ref, you pussies. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the ref somehow escapes the onslaught. Here comes the penalty. <laughs> First down and a mock, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here. Come on. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to the. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Yeah, just do the attack ref dirty trick. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down in a mile. Second down in a mile. Oh, with a brutal hit. Third down and, well, good luck. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Oh, boy, there. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl is nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a moral one I lift either. He's not just burning down the house. He's taking it to the house. can't believe the defense didn't stop the run. Or maybe they just secretly wanted four more shots at the QB. 
That's probably more like it. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Quinn? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And that'll be second down and four. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Third and two. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. The Crux and Skull Jugulars took their city's name to heart and win the game. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, they're giving the ref a few bucks. Didn't hurt their cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a sawbuck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...